what's going on guys welcome back to the channel how's it going on hope you are doing well i'm doing pretty good i've had a little bit of a break so i'm back now i'm getting to some videos that i've piled up on a list that i have to get to and i want to get out for you guys so today we're going to be starting with bad wolves zombie the official music video now i'm hoping because it's an official music video that i don't get copyrighted backstory as to why i'm reacting to this is purely based on the fact that I the original zombie by the cranberries is one of my all-time favorite songs I don't think there's one song on this planet that gives me goosebumps every single time but it is zombie man that one like the way this came about because it's such an old song the fact that it's coming back up again is because I was watching UFC videos and if you guys haven't seen it I'll put it on the screen but Ashling Daly an Irish UFC fighter she came out to this song before and there's a video from the crowd of the crowd's reaction to it and being Irish it's just like I genuinely can't watch that video without like it's it almost brings tears to your eyes like It's just, it just means a lot to Irish people, this track. And for anyone who isn't aware of the history behind it, I mean, I'll just do a quick rundown of what the song is about. I won't try to put it into my own words. I'll just read it here because I know this is being kind of screened or whatever, so I won't get anything wrong. Uh, the Cranberries describe the violence in the Troubles, the decade-long conflict in Northern Ireland between nationalists uh, and unionists. So basically that's mainly self-identified as Irish or Roman Catholic, which is the nationalists, and unionists, which were mainly self-identified as British or Protestant, okay? Uh, Dolores O'Riordan, who is the lead singer, or who was the lead singer in the Cranberries, rest in peace, she died in 2018, I think, by like some tragic drowning circumstance or something along those lines. Then she drowned in her bath or something mad like that. She wrote the song during the band's English tour in 1993 in memory of two young boys, Tim Parry and Jonathan Ball, who were killed in an IRA bombing in Warrington, England. So a direct quote from Dolores O'Riordan is this song is our cry against man's inhumanity to man, inhumanity to child is what she said. So yeah guys, if you haven't heard the original uh, song by the Cranberries, I think that's almost at like 1 billion views on YouTube or something crazy like that. So check that out first, come back to this. The reason why I'm checking this out is because this is such a huge song to cover. So I want to see what this is all about, how it's actually gone down. It was uploaded in 2018, so I think it might be just after Dolores O'Riordan's death or just before. Maybe it was like a tribute to her after she died. So that's all I want to see. I know it's a huge song to do even attempt to cover at it. So it looks to have done fairly well with 2 million likes and 293 million views. So we'll see what these guys can do to, uh, I suppose, bring a new aspect to this track. So it was January 2018, okay.
song gets me everything. He's obviously changed it slightly to suit his accent. I'm assuming they're American. They have a kind of an American sound to it, but her lyrics confronting the collateral damage of political unrest captured the same sentiment he wanted to express. I can't see with the fucking video over the screen. Uh, this is testament to the kind of injury, yeah. Man, that didn't get me as much as the original did, but man, those lyrics are just... If you kind of understand the history of Ireland and the... The Troubles, which is obviously the time in which the song is based on. I think that hits home a little bit more every time, but I'll put the video of Ashling Daily walking out to that as well, and you get the live crowd response as well. Even like in Dublin so many years later, at a live event which has nothing to do with any political issues. Like you can, f you can, like even just watching the video, you can feel the atmosphere in that place, just with the history and everything that goes behind that track, and then someone Irish walking out to fucking go to war in a fight, you know. Ugh. But that was the one thing I kind of was looking into to see how we deal with the accent because like Dolores O'Riordan had such a unique voice and even the way she sang certain parts like I've watched other like American people react to it and like vocal coaches and all this kind of shit that have reacted to it and like mentioned the fact that like she's got such a weird accent so even the way she sings is actually hard to mimic because of how her accent is and the little tendencies in her voice so Man, yeah, I'm just if you have not heard the original track, which would be very surprising because it's such a big track, then please do go and listen to it. Educate yourself on the history of the track and then listen to it because it will just hit home a little bit more. But man, that is powerful. I'm glad I found I'm glad I stumbled across these guys because they really did a good job. I mean they did twist it slightly, but it is a cover, you know, you don't want to just take the complete original. But then obviously with the imagery as well, with the 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 body paint that Dolores O'Riordan wore in the in the original video, which again you can go back and look at that to understand why that's playing homage to that. Um, it just hits a little bit harder as well because obviously Dolores was supposed to be recording her verse or her part for the track, and then she passed away tragically. So just again hits a little bit harder again. But really glad I stumbled across this one, guys. Uh, didn't cry on camera. Uh, got emotional though, which is one of the first times I've felt that kind. Of, I've had goosebumps everything before, but 
just with the history and everything behind that track and the meaning, especially with her passing away, means quite a lot. So yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you would not mind. Sub to the channel if you are new. And yeah, thank you as always for watching. Let me know if there's any other big Bad Wolves tracks that I maybe need to check out. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be me, guys. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.